All right, so here is Stacy, the gorgeous shirt dress, all right? Now, I thought the warehouse was all done with this dress, you guys. I know some of you absolutely love her, and I didn't think I would ever be able to get more, but the warehouse did it, you guys. They found some. They must have tucked some away in the fall, and they found them. They brought them back for us, okay? So grab them while you can, because I don't know how long they're gonna be around, all right? So for the ladies that do not know all about the Stacy, she is a gorgeous, you know, like knee length dress. It is a beautiful fabric that is so nice for the summer. Okay, this is a two by two rib and I've called it a silky feel fabric, okay? So it's got a little bit of that slipperiness to it. It will not stick to whatever undies and stuff you put under this. It won't stick to any of your cardigans or stuff that you throw over. Uh, it's not quite to like the DTY really, really slinky, okay? You know, which like slinky, super stretchy. It's not quite that far. So that's why I went with silky for the pictures, okay? So the little flaps here are totally faux, okay? So we don't get like extra bulk. Some of us maybe would like extra bulk more than others. I'm kind of happy there is not, okay? She's got pockets in the side. And then all of these buttons are fully functioning buttons, okay? So you can button it up as high, as low, as whatever it is you'd like. And it's a really nice metal button, just like the Heidi dresses are, okay? Uh, there is a really cute cuff detail here. And then the tie that's on here is in a really nice, uh, like, encased piece. And you can tie it, like, as loose, as tight whatever as you like, okay? So you can give it a really loose tie if you want it to like be a little more concealing, okay? Or myself, you guys, I tell you all the time, tie things a little bit higher, okay? That's why I kind of do this when I tie things. Give them a little bit higher so you can get a little bit of a slouch here, okay? And then I am much thinner here than I am like right there this is where rolly things happen okay so you get like a nice long lean looking kind of silhouette that way as well okay now for me because i always have angry buttons and things i find me personally when i wear a stacy uh i pull kind of like my extra fabric that i have i kind of pull it here it adds a little more fabric to this part and then I don't get that pulling button thing, okay? But I'm a pretty chesty 14, you guys. So not many others watching this will have the same problem I do, okay? But that's kind of one of my little tricks. Or I just put a really cute little cami under it and I take these two buttons, I undo these two. And I like this one, for example, I pick like something, a really nice creamy kind of tone. And then you just get like this little peekaboo of a little cute little cami underneath and absolutely a way you can do it too, okay? Uh, actually, when I get to the extra large, I'm gonna do a few um, layering options with this dress as well, okay? Because she makes a really cute layering piece with denim shorts, your denim, your tanks, all those sorts of things. You don't have to be restricted to just this being a dress, okay? So there is the large. I will throw a medium on just for fun. I can tell you the buttons are gonna be super mad, uh, but we're gonna see how the rest of it is. Uh, Cause you guys, I have not put a medium Stacy on in a while. So we'll give it a shot and we'll see what we get. All right, so now the medium. And actually you guys, it's better than I anticipated, okay? You can tell it's definitely more tailored, okay? It's not fitted yet anywhere, I wouldn't say. Mine is like about there, right? Okay, but you know, I still, like the shoulders are not bad. I still have some room in here and it's not terrible, you guys. So if you were intending this to be a layering piece only, I wouldn't tell you to not. I wouldn't tell you to not, that's a... I wouldn't advise you, is that a better word? Okay, I would tell you, you will be fine going down a size as a layering piece, okay? If you're chesty though, 
the buttons. The buttons will get you every time. But if you're going to open it up, open it up, okay? And I have to show you this orange, you guys, because this orange is really fun. It's like, it's really cool in person. I don't necessarily like the pictures of it in the store because orange is a color that cameras just are not happy with. Okay, especially an orange like this, it gets really mad. And I envision this one worn with the lightest of the denims, okay, that we make, like the really, really, really light ones. And maybe just like pull this color of a cami or a cocoa or, you know, what have you. And this will be a fantastic layering one, okay? So this is a medium, all right? Now let's go check out the extra large and let's do a little bit of layering. All right, so now I have thrown the extra large Stacy on, okay? But you'll see I've added jeans and I've added something else. Uh, here though, before I get to that part, Here's an extra large Stacy now, okay? So they're fairly flexible in sizing as though like if you wanna go up to grab that print, you probably can because this really nice tie really can bring the dress back in and make it look like it's not too big in the waist and it doesn't make you look too boxy or anything like that, okay? So as I say, like just give it a tie and you can kinda bring everything back in, okay? But the reason you guys I've snuck something else underneath this time is because the Stacy is also a really cute overlay piece okay so grab your Coco tanks your jewels your Farrah's all of those sorts of things okay and then you can kind of play around with this as well so I guess I could have kept this tied because there's kind of like a few ways you can do this all right so we can like leave the bottom of the dress and we can you know pants or no pants really okay if you want to expose like a really cute top absolutely can do it okay if you want to keep going and wear her more like she's a cardigan you can absolutely do that too okay so think of more like you know our favorite sarah janet duster cardigans but now here's the short sleeve version okay so you can still like just give it one button here if you want and then use this tie to still kind of bring it in if you'd like, okay? One thing with the tie though is if you give this a push, it's probably gonna stay to where you'd like it to stay, okay? So you can tie, right? Tie it like this, or you can take this right off. And what I will do sometimes, you guys, is I just put like a loop in this just so that I'm not like, tying this to never be untied again okay now that i'm on camera i totally can't do it okay so i just kind of you know give this a loop so that i can pull this piece and easily get that tie out that i put so you can kind of play with this too like how far you want this to come in front or not or whatever else and now you've got a super cute overlay flowy fun overlay piece as well so you're not just restricted to keeping Stacy as a dress, okay? She can be a super cute overlaid piece as well. And you've still got your pocket that's accessible and all that sort of stuff too, okay? So give Stacy a shot. I'm super excited that they found us some more. I don't know that they're gonna find us more again. This might be the last of the last on this beautiful dress, you guys. Okay, so go check her out and you know where to find me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You want to make sure you get notified every single time I do one of these videos. You'll know brand new product or if I'm going to DIY something really cool. So click subscribe.